Um, integrated vulnerability assessment is a tool that was used to assess climate change uh, impact. So uh, I will talk a little bit on the transition of the tool from uh, what it was before. The vulnerability and adaptation assessment was developed by PSSD by Mr. Leonel Limolevo. And then when we took it to the, to the Fiji government, it was through the Ministry of Ethiopia Affairs where the conservation officers, they took the leading role in conducting assessment. Then we, we kind of developed it more into what is happening now because of, of not only climate change but also disaster which affect our community a lot. So that was the reason that we call it now the Integrated Vulnerability Assessment because we, we had integrated climate change and disaster into the tool. And this was done in collaboration and it was strengthened through consultation with Lion Ministries, civil societies and also non-governmental organizations. If the tool was really important for the Fiji government, it's uh, not only um, uh, identifying the impact of climate change at the community level, but more at the national level in terms of uh, relooking or reviewing the climate change policy, since climate change policy of Fiji was developed right in 2012. So the, uh, the IVA uh, information or the result of this assessment can't influence or also help in the review of the climate change policy. Not only that, it also help in prioritization of development plan. For Fiji, we have the, the green growth framework. So this, the result of the EVA can also help in, in directing or also help in, in achieving some of the objectives of the green growth framework. And, and on top of that, it also help in the review of the relocation guideline. For Fiji, we, we, we are not, we are still in the draft relocation guideline, but with the result of EVA, it can help uh, identify gaps in the draft relocation guideline as to date. What is important from the um, from the result of uh, uh, of EVA is uh, the prioritization of adaptation projects. So, because EVA identified vulnerability or vulnerable issues at the community level, the result help in identifying um, relevant or important adaptation projects. So, I guess the the results from EVA is very important, especially at the at the national level, and not only that, at also at the regional and international level. With the EVA context, it's, it's uh, uh, related to Fiji, not only uh, at the community level, but at the government level, uh, also, I will say it also at the regional level. Uh, since uh, EVA is uh, looking at livelihood assets in related to human objectives, um, it's, it's, a, it's a context that relates to other line ministries and also to NGOs and civil societies in a way that they believe that this is of importance to them. So in, in the context of EVA, it's kind of, uh, they own the tool as well. So when we did consultation, they realized that the tool context and the tool content is relevant to them so it's not only at the at the community level or international uh, sorry at the national level but also at the line ministry level and partners as well when we develop the the EVA tool the first thing that we did was we consulted with the line ministries whether it's uh, appropriate to to use their content. For example, uh, since the livelihood assets, it's in relate to all ecosystem, so we thought, and it's important to consult other line ministries. So after the consultation, we be, uh, then we saw that the tool have a lot of gaps, so we need to strengthen that. So we strengthened that through the use of, uh, of engaging consultants to help us to strengthen those tools. Eh? So we ask for um, uh, approval from line ministries if we can consult them. And also we have workshops, we conducted workshops to strengthen, in order to strengthen the tools. So after that, then we have to train field officers. 
So in order for us to do assessment, since this, it's, it's quite uh, comprehensive, so we need to um, train field officers to do that. So, but before we took the tour down to the community level, what we've done, we've consulted the divisional office, then we go down to the provincial council. And at the provincial council, after we set out a plan on going down to the community, then we consult the community. So after consulting the community, then we went down right to the community level to do assessment. Anyway, assessment, the first thing we need to do is when you go up to the community level, in, I mean, we have a different government structure at the community. We have, like for Fiji, we have Turani Koro, we have a rep of uh, women or youth rep. So what we've done is when we go down, uh, we have to consult with them first on what is EVA is all about. So when the community is aware of what is EVA uh, is all about, then they are willing to be part of the program and they are willing to give the information that we are looking for. So it, it took process to, to go down to the community level and to get information from the community we need to, to gain their trust. And then when we have that, we have to explain to them the different process that we will be following. So for even in Fiji, the first thing we consulted them and then we create a little bit awareness on what is climate change is all about. After that, then we, then we did a, a group discussions. So we kind of segregate them from women, children, young people, and then we put them into groups. So after the, the group discussions, the, the information that we collected, then we kind of throw it back to them. We said, okay, this is the information we've collected, and then uh, you believe this is the top priority or this is not a priority, then we move from there. So after the consultation, then we, we put the report together. What is important is for us to relay back the information that is collected from, from the assessment to our community people. So that is the, the process that we took from the national right to the community level. For, for a tool or for a, a, any kind of work that to be sustainable, you need to train, train practitioners or train um, personnel or government line ministries personnel at the provincial level on such initiative. So for, to, for, the, for the EVA tool, what we've done is we've trained um, the divisional officers, we call them district officers, and also we train the ROCOs, they, they base at the provincial council office, and we also train the conservation officers. So these people, they will, they will be the one that can use the tool at any time that they want to use it. So we need to build the capacity, we need to build, train them on how to use it. So in terms of sustainability of, of, the, of the tool of the, of the assessment, we build these people's, um, we train them and we build the capacity to continue with the work. So if we are there or not, we, they are already there to continue with the work. So if there's a request from the community, it's not really necessary for them to come to the national level or to, to, to climate change unit. But what they can do is they touch base with the people that are surround them, around them, to help them with assessment. Before we conduct the assessment, what we, what we do is we do awareness first. So through awareness, it builds the capacity of the community people capacity in terms of climate change impact, in terms of disaster. So in that way, it's when it builds the capacity, they know what to do when, you know, in terms of um, the impact of sea level rise. So through awareness, it will help them um, how to adapt in terms of if there's sea level, uh, the impact of sea level rise in a certain communities, they can plant mangroves. That is through awareness. That it also built the resilience of the community. So to me, that is important at the community level. So the root, the, the root cause of the of the issue and also the the impact is faced by the community. So when you build the the awareness, sorry, and when you create awareness and build the capacity, they became a, uh, they become a resilient community they know what's to do eh? so uh, to me that is important and also at the at the national level um, it helps the the decision makers the result helps the decision makers and also who's doing the planning to drive to drive the country in terms of prioritizing adaptation project that is really relevant at the community level. So this also build resilience not only at the community but at the national level. So through the information that we gathered from EVA. 
So result from EVA uh, can help the community write a report, a report or um, um, a letter of request to the provincial council and the provincial council since they are the one the, that help the community, the provincial council or even the district offices, they can help them uh, look, look for funding to address the climate change issues that are affecting them at the community level. In this way, it builds resilience at the community level. EVA, in terms of decision making, it not only influence national and not only influence provincial, but it starts from the community level. So information of EVA, if it's given to the, to the community level, they can influence provincial level. So they, they, they know their issues, then when they raise their issues to the provincial level, provincial level then take it up to the relevant uh, funders or relevant line ministries to assist them in terms of the issues they are facing.